Right, and we are live. I think we are live. Good evening, everybody. Thank you very much for joining me for, well, the first in a series of playthrough videos uh, on a Tuesday night. I actually started this series on Saturday where we played through Feast for Odin. And today we're playing through Ark Nova with the Marine Worlds expansion with the Arnobot. And the designer of the Arnobot is in the chat. So thank you very much, Andre, for joining us. The Arnobot is an alternative solo mode for the game. It's an unofficial solo mode, um, but it's very highly rated. Lots of people that I know have said it's really good. The solo mode that's included in the game is OK. Um, it, you just you just play for a bit. It's a fixed length of time and you've got to try and score as many points as you can. There is no automated opponent. The Arnobot is an automated opponent. Now, for those of you that didn't join me on Saturday, uh, I'm trying something new with this playthrough series. So this is a, going to be a series of solo playthroughs every Tuesday night for the next five or six weeks uh, where I haven't actually set up the game yet. Um, the idea is that this is a bit more informal, a bit more relaxed, a bit more casual, and I'm actually going to set the game up while we're chatting. So for those of you that are here uh, in the chat, please feel free to have some kind of conversation about what you had for dinner. Or, more importantly, if you've played the Arno Bot. If you have, let us know. Let us know how you get on. Because what we're playing with tonight is we're playing with Arno Bot 3.0. So, I don't really know, but I know that the Arno Bot has been around for a while. Uh, and I'm guessing it was first released as 1.0 and then 2.0. I don't know when 3.0 came out, but that's what we're going to be using tonight. We're going to be using Arno Bot 3.0. And because I've not played any of the other ones... Um, I don't know how it compares <laughs> to the others. So, um, yeah, we'll find out. Now, we're also, as I mentioned, we're going to be playing with the Marine Worlds expansion tonight. And I've played with this once or twice. My problem with the Marine Worlds expansion is that I'm playing a lot of this game on Board Game Arena. And Board Game Arena doesn't have the Marine Worlds expansion. So I've got a lot more familiarity uh, with the game. I've also just realised... That my cards are sleeved. Now what that means is we might get quite a lot of reflections from the overhead lights. Which means I'll need to turn off the overhead lights. Which means I'll need to adjust the ISO setting on the camera above me. We'll find out. We'll see what happens. Um, but the Onobot does actually take into account Marine Worlds. It has been updated and adapted. Let me know what the chat means. Klaus has said he's got over 100 Arno plays of 1, 2 and 3. Uh, does Arnobot work with the base game or is it specifically designed to work with the expansion? It can be used with or without the expansion. If you look in the top right, I've actually got... Um, so you don't need the website or the web browser to play this. You can use a set of cards and a set of dice. That, for me, is beyond my comfort level. I've been told, I've had it on good authority, that the, uh, the, the website that you can see on screen um, is going to do all the hard work for me. And you can see down here, you can play with Marine Worlds or not. So we are going to be playing with Marine Worlds. Now then, let's try and remember how you set this up. So I've got two different boards here, and I can't remember. Ah, that's the one for my... Uh, yeah. And we don't know where things are going to go on camera yet. That's the beauty of these uh, of these playthroughs. We, we've no idea. We've no idea. This is all of the setup that I normally do before a stream. Um where I basically get the game out, set it up, work out where everything's going to go, all the camera angles and everything like that. Oh, <laughs> the microphone. Sorry for that. Um, but we are not going to be doing that today. We are just going to... Oh, is that going to fit up there? It might just fit up there. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, I can make the thing smaller if I need to. But, yeah, that's okay. There you go. Look at that. Right. We'll, we'll try that. Adam says, Feast for Odin, Norwegians, and now this. His two favourite games. Good choices, Adam. Um, Feast for Odin with Norwegians is definitely in my top 10 games of all time. I'm not sure Ark Nova is. I do enjoy it, and I'm not saying it isn't a fantastic game. I just don't know if it's a top 10 game for me. It might be top 20. Might. I'm not sure. Anyway. As I say, I don't really know what I'm doing here. So this is going to be very much a journey into the unknown. And we'll see what happens. So we are setting up a one-player game. The important things to mention are you can actually play with multiple Arnobots if you want to. 
And you can also use the Arno bot to add an additional player into a multiplayer game. So we could be playing a three player game with one Arno bot or a two player game with one or two Arno bots or a solo game with one, two or three Arno bots. Today, we're just gonna be doing a one player game with one Arno bot. I'm gonna choose blue because purple is not available. Arno color is going to be red. Hopefully you'll see those on camera. Now, the difficulty level. I've been told by the designer, definitely stick to like one, two or three. Don't go four or more because these are actually really hard. Even though four says four says medium, but I, I'm not going to do that. I'm I'm. What, what do you think I should do in the chat? Ignore the text that's there based on my skill level of the game. Uh, what level do you think I should play? Should I play on two or three? Let me know what you think. Uh, we are going to pick a random map. Okay, it's it's picked map five for us, oh, which is this one. This is map five, um, and I believe Arno Bot needs a, a map A. Wherever the map A is, map A. Right. Okay. So we don't need the other ones. James says four. I'm not playing on four. <laughs> Yeah, so Andre, who's the designer of the game, says that 4 is actually hard, even though on that website 4 says medium. So Andre is suggesting 2. James says 3.5. So a lot of other people are suggesting 3. But I think that's because, yeah, we're going we're gonna to go with 2. The designer suggested 2. So, yeah, we'll go with that one. So according to that, it's very easy. But, yeah, you might want to tweak the wording on that. So we've got map five. There's also a, an additional switch that you can turn on for variable conservation project condition determination. Try saying that after a couple of drinks. Um, I'm not going to turn that on because I don't know what that is. But we are using the Marine Worlds expansion. So what we need to do is we need to take... Uh, I think these are the old cards. I need to put a little note in that pack to say old cards do not use. Do not accidentally take out. So take three of the new action cards at random and choose two of those with different types. So are these the new ones? I think they are. So I'm I'm literally just going to shuffle all of these together. I think these are all the new ones and I will I will put them on screen so that you can have a look as well. Okay. So we're drawing three of them and we're choosing two except we can't have two the same so in fact let's get the let's get the other camera on give me the other camera is working yes the other camera is working there you go so there's the three that i've chosen at random uh and i've got to choose two of them so i've got to choose this one and i'm now choosing either that one or that one which one do you think which one do you think the one with the uh the one, the one with the pig or without the pig? I think that's what the difference is. Um, I seem to remember one of the things that I didn't like about these new cards is that they they reverted back to iconography instead of text. And I felt it made it a little bit less clear. I think. I can't remember. Um, anyway. Yeah, let me know which ones of those you think I should use. But either way, we're using a basic build card. We're using an improved sponsors card. We're using a basic association. We're using a basic animals. And then we're using one of those two. Oh yeah, look at both sides. Yeah, I mean, there's the, there's the other side. So that's, that's that side of them. I mean, what's different about this one? I don't know what's different about that one. Let, let's have a look at that compared to the normal cards card. So there's the normal cards card. Okay, it gives you... Okay, the card drawer is better. It gives you snapping earlier. That's That's what that gives you. So it's just a slightly improved version of that. Yeah, so this one just gives additional snapping. Whereas this one 
is digging one. I can't remember what digging one does. So yeah, are we are we going with pig or without pig? That is the question. Aiden said the left side for better snapping options. Tyler also says additional snapping. Imre says quicker snapping. And Rasmus says snapping. So sorry, Mr. Piggy. You are you are disappearing. Right. So those are our five action cards. Animals goes on the right hand side and the rest get shuffled. I seem to remember. Um right. Arno setup. So set up the game according to player count, including Arnos. A human player will be the starting player. Great, that's me. Every Arno starts with minus three conservation points and appeal points. Um, based on the player order. Okay, so now I've got Marine World, so I've got all of these fancy pieces and I can't remember which ones is which because you've got all sorts of fancy. I think that's for the reputation track because that looks like a hat. Yeah, I think I think that I think that's going to go there. Let's put it upside down. Tickets. So appeal. So uh, yeah, going to start on six. I'm going to start on five income. So one appeal. Um, right. Which one of these is the is that one? Yes, yeah, the shield, isn't it? So it says it starts with minus three conservation points. So I think I saw this. Uh, on an image that you put three cubes next to it oh it's gonna that's gonna be a bit tricky for me to reach all the way up there all of the time let me just see if i can sort this chair out that's better right i can reach across a bit better now um so that's going to start with minus three so i'm going to use those cubes to indicate minus three where is my conservation right the digging allows you to manipulate the river of cards yes okay right that's what digging does um every arno receives the components of one color a zoo mat map a yep which we're going to put maybe let's put that over there okay uh one face down final scoring card <clears throat> so I think these are these are the final scoring cards. There's a lot of them now. Okay. And eight random zoo cards, but it only keeps the first two conservation project cards. It discards all sponsors and animals. Okay, so there's its face down one of those. I'm going to get two. Let's have a look at the two I've been dealt. So we've been dealt the... Are you going to focus? There you go. The accessible zoo, where I'm going to gain conservation points for conditions on cards in your zoo. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> or one based on reputation. Now, if you don't know the game, I'm not going to be doing a full tutorial today, but one of the great rules of this game is that you don't need to decide which one of these you're going to stick with until a certain point near the end. So what the heck is conditions on cards? And the iconography is, oh, it's, so it's things on the left. It's a, a condition, a requirement that you need to have in order to be able to play the card. Okay, well, well, we'll decide later on which ones we're going to use. So we need this board. This board is going to go somewhere. Where's this board going to go? Put these off over here. Throw them down there. Uh, I got a little coffee cup, thanks to Paul Richards. He gave me a little uh, little coffee cup, so thank you very much for that. That's going to go on there. Right, what do we need to do? What do we need to do? We don't need the rest of those. Those can disappear. 
Uh, right, so where are things going to go? Let's put this here. But I'm actually going to put the three conditions. I'm, I think I'm going to put them vertically here. So our three, not conditions, our three conservation projects that we're going to have for this game are Habitat Diversity, which requires different continent icons in your zoo. Africa. And the Americas. Okay, so we've got absolute, we've got, we've got some synergy here. Because this is going to require, so basically, I want five America, five Africa, one Europe, one Asia. What's the one I've missed? The other one. <laughs> the other one that I've missed. Right, are we ready with the big pack of cards? So the shine's not too bad, actually. I'm surprised these are not... Um... Oh, she are. That's it. Thank you. I'm surprised these are not reflecting that much. They normally don't, the beads overhead lights. Uh, maybe because two of the lights have gone. <laughs> two of my... I've got... I've had terrible problems for years with overhead lights in this room. Um, and the old ones, the old lights that I had were little GU10 bulbs. And they kept blowing all of the time. Um... Anyway, I eventually replaced that, and I've now got a new big light strip with some LED lights on, and they just keep blowing all the time. I probably lose one every few weeks. Um, yeah, constantly replacing them. Block out a spot on each conservation card. Thank you. It's the middle one, isn't it? Do we block out the middle one? I think we do. Let's get some penguins. I'm going to block out. I think it's the middle spot. If it's not the middle spot, let me know. I seem to remember it was the middle. So I've, I've only played this two player a couple of times. Yeah, so the Arno bot is, although it's a solo mode, you set it up as if it's a two player game. From what I, uh, from what I believe. What's the best way to shuffle a massive deck? Really, well, the, the only real way to do it is you've got the cards divided well not sorry you've only got the card divided i've got the cards separated into three piles um three piles is probably a bit too many and because i've sleeved the cards it means i can do the mash the mash shuffle and not damage the cards whatsoever so you do the mash shuffle and then basically split them up like that and do the mash shuffle with those and then split those up yeah, these are, these are probably a bit too big. Probably should go a little bit smaller. Maybe maybe four piles of cards. Yeah, and you just you just do this a few times. And if if you like me, and you like shuffling cards, then this is fine. But with a deck with this many cards, you do need a way of of, of randomizing it definitely. So I would I would say that I would say shuffle each individual block. And then every so often, separate the blocks like that. And if you do this enough times, you'll actually end up with the cards in alphabetical order. Um, yeah, there, there's your challenge. <laughs> I seem to remember back in my old days of uh, when I used to play Magic the Gathering. Um, seriously, when I was talking with a lot of poker players and, you know, professional poker players who played also a lot of Magic the Gathering. Uh, and they cheated a lot as well, um, is that they said apparently if you do a perfect ripple shuffle on a deck seven times, it ends up being back as it was at the start. And you can actually, what looks like you shuffling randomly, I knew people that could ripple shuffle decks and get it almost back into the order that they wanted it. Yeah. My go-to card sleeve. I use um, the Paladin sleeves from Board and Dice. These are currently my favourite ones. I've been using these for a few years now uh, for two reasons, three reasons, four reasons, lots of reasons. The first reason is um, they're relatively cheap. 
So I pay about £1.59, £1.60 for a pack of 55. Now, compared to some of the expensive makes of card sleeves that come in at like £2.50 for 50, or even more, I've seen some at like £3 for 50. Uh, so these are about, yeah, £1.50, £1.60 uh, for a pack of 55. So they're a good price, but I don't buy sleeves because they're cheap. They are good quality. I think they are either 80 or 90 microns, which for me is is good. I don't like thin, any, any thinner than this, and I don't like. Uh, they also fit perfectly, so there's no overlap on the edge like the old Fantasy Flight Games ones used to have. Um, I've had almost no breakages in the last few years, whereas I remember back in the 90s when I was playing card games a lot, um, the Ultra Pro cards that we had, Ultra Pro sleeves that we had then, they were they were splitting a lot. And I'm not kind to my sleeves. I'm I'm literally mashing them together. Um, and yeah, I haven't really had any splits at all. And I've got thousands of these things. So um, yeah, they they're good quality and the size consistency as well. That's the that's the other main thing for me. Um, I've bought, as I say, I've bought thousands of these, and the size consistency is the same all the way through. I haven't had any differences, whereas certain other manufacturers, <clears throat> Mayday, um, you would get size differences of up to half a millimeter in the same pack, uh, which was which was pretty shocking. Anyway, there we go. Conversation about sleeves. Are we done? Do we have the massive deck of cards that we're never going to go? I mean, I, just just for laughs, I am going to put the entire deck on that space, but we are not going to get through that deck at all. In fact, the original solo mode that comes with the game, um, it has you playing a campaign game where you go through this three times and there is enough cards there, I believe, for you to play three times from what I remember. Okay, we are getting a little bit of glare from that card there, but it's fine for now. So what we're doing we are putting animals in five. I might move me across a bit, actually. Um, where's where's the thing? Where where am I? There, there's me. Let's move me across to there. Okay. Right, and then we fill up all the other ones. Oh, animals in one. Is it animals in one? Animals in one and the rest of them. That's it. I thought it was animals in five for some reason. <laughs> I've just made a cup of tea as well. I haven't drunk it. Right. Animals in one. Thank you. So we've got animals, cards, build, and we've got sponsors. I should have a look at my new sponsors. So play one sponsor card with a maximum level of X or break X, gain X. So that's, that's normal. But additionally, you may discard a sponsor card to take a sponsor card from the display into hand. Right. Nice. Okay. So we're blocking the left donation spots. Okay. Thank you. So we're blocking the big ones. Ah, interesting. That's a shame. Why did I think it was the middle ones then? Oh, left space, middle space, and right space on subsequent cards. Ah, right. Okay. Right. So left hand one on that one, middle one on that one, right hand one on that one. Is that good? Is that good? Donations we need to block as well. Um, yeah, I should just get the rule book. Where's the rule book? Yeah, it's been so long since I played two player. And I think the last time I played two player, I think I forgot to block these off. Um, where are the two player rules? Are they actually in the rule book? There. Set up for a two player game. Yes. Okay, so we're blocking that, that, and that. We need more penguins. Where have I put the penguins? Here's the penguins. So we're blocking off these spaces here. There you go. 
For those of you that have never seen any of my other videos, they're not normally like this. As I mentioned at the start, I'm going with a different approach to this um, because to be fair, I'm doing this as a bonus. This is not a sponsored playthrough. This is done as uh, through the support of my Patreon campaign. Um, and the normal amount of preparation that I do for a video like this is probably about two or three hours where I reread the game, possibly even have a practice game, do all of the setup. And I just don't have time at the moment. So um, yeah, I, these are basically, as I say, laid back, casual playthroughs, very little prep and probably getting things wrong. So I think we're good to go. Right. What do we need to do? I need to put some other cubes on here. Um, oh, is that what the fishes are? Yeah, the fishes replace the cubes, don't they? So, I'm not sure what Arnobot needs. So, we've got one of those. We've got 25 money. The money's horrible in this game, isn't it? Really, it really is. Just don't know why they didn't do nicer money. So, 25 money. Um, so, yeah. Um, and these are going to go here. And you release those from bottom to top, not from top to bottom. So I don't think we need those. Those can go off camera. Right. Let's go back to the screen. Uh, every honor receives the components of a color. A zoo mat, a face down scoring card, and eight random zoo cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it says it will keep the first two conservation projects, but it will discard the rest. No conservation projects. Okay, so it's just going to just going to discard all of those and um, place all player tokens of Arno's color next to his zoo mat okay so not specifically on here just next to the zoo mat um, place the final scoring card on the left area of the zoo mat this will cover the building area which is not needed uh, what here or here okay right so we're not building anything here right oh yeah there's a picture there nice okay so that's going to go there doesn't have any conservation projects looks like it's got one assistant and three more there's a nice image included you do not need dice or action cards because we're using the the app so yeah i think that's i think that's that set up i need my cards as well um Yeah, you do not need dice or action cards. Association workers, that's it. Place the three remaining on the designated spaces. And he doesn't need money, apparently. Um, ah, there's the picture. There, the picture's in the top right. So there you go. Three cubes to show that he's on minus three. Right, okay. Let's click start. Take your turn. Ah, well, we haven't done this yet. So <laughs> let's have my eight cards. Um... Now, I know what the rule book says. The rule book says you're supposed to deal the cards out here face down and then everybody looks at their own cards. And then once you've done that, that's when you flip them face up. That is one of the most nonsense rules that I've ever seen in a rule book ever. Just lay them out once everybody's done the thing. I, I don't understand that. It's just it's just weird. Really, really weird that they did it like that. Anyway, the cards that we have, we have. They're going to focus. It's going to focus. One with so much text on. Wow. Okay. So we're looking for conservation projects are always good. Bird breeding program. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're looking for Africa, America, and basically others. So we've got two Africa cards. So we've got the African penguin. It's going to, that's a, that's, that's a requirement as well. And I don't know what that is. Oh, that means it takes up two spots in the new um, the aquarium thing, isn't it? A lion requires three predators. <sighs> yeah. Wow. So we're going to have to have three predators before we even play the lion, which if we're not going with... I mean, I haven't got any other predators, so that's going to be a tricky one. And they're the only two African ones we have. Um, 
The other option is Americas. We haven't drawn anything for Americas. We could go with the bird breeding program where he do only have one bird. But this is a nice easy one to do. It just requires the bird and the partner zoo. So we need a partner zoo of Africa, which is an Africa icon. So I think that's probably a good start. We are going to have to upgrade our animals card, which I don't normally do. And yeah, penguins are good. Of course penguins are good. So we're going to go with those two. Definitely going to go with those two. As for these, what does the archaeologist do? Each time you gain the placement bonus of a border space in your zoom, you gain another free placement bonus. Okay. We could play that, potentially. It's got one. It needs one research icon. Going to get a conservation point at the end of all border space. I, I do like to start with, with a conservation project, because... I'm going to probably play one at some point. Thomas is here, Lone Board Gamer. Thank you for popping in. Can the new aquarium cards also be placed in a normal enclosure? Um, yes. Yeah. A normal size three enclosure. Yeah. Um, yeah. Normally, I would play the unpeaceful mode, but... It says specifically that Arnobot doesn't deal with these, so you have to use the, the friendly version of them. Ah, you see, each time you play an Asia icon, get a free pavilion. I mean, that's got an Asia icon. That's got an Australasia icon. Oh, sorry, an Australia icon. I mean, I, I could just take them it's a bit weak it's a bit weak if this is the only one i play it is a bit weak i'm probably oh i don't know i don't know what do you think termination is a very good card which one's that oh this one a common european adder after the current action perform an additional action yeah i mean it's it's an expensive card but, okay. James says the deer. I mean, it's a flock animal. But it's it's not the icons we want. It really isn't. And I'm not taking a sponsor card. I, I think I'm going to take one of these sponsors cards. So we've taken the snake. We've taken the snake. It, it's one of these three. And I'm tempted... I'm tempted to play the expert on Asia because he's got a good beard. Yeah, we're going to say that. Okay, decision made. Right, and now that we've done that, now we get the six cards. So how many people who are watching this video do the same as me? Or do you follow the rule book and place the cards face down? And then after players have chosen their cards, then flip them face up, which is what the rule book says. But I think it's nonsense. Absolute nonsense. Right, we're ready to go. So we got 25 money. Um, yeah, what are we going to do? We, well, we have sponsors in position five. So we could straight away play our expert on Asia just to get it out of the way. <laughs> our build is in position four association is in position three we do need to populate this and isn't there something we need to do as well i think there's a special thing that we need to do we need to put something at the end of the what's it track don't we I know we need to put that there. Oh, we need these bonuses as well. Yeah, I forgot about these bonuses. Let's get these out. Um, okay, so. Shuffly, shuffly, shuffly. And we need four of them. So we'll have... That one. That one. That one. 
And yeah, I think you put an extra one there, which you can see, I can't see. That rings a bell. Anyway, I've said probably three times now we're ready to go. And then there's something else that I've forgotten to do. Now I think we're ready to go. What's my special ability? Income. Gain one income for each adjacent cupboard space to the park restaurant. Okay, so we want to be covering the spaces around the park restaurant. Yeah, so what do we do? We can, with this, we can take a partner zoo. So straight away, we could use our association action to take a partner zoo. And we do want the partner zoo with the penguin. But we can't play the penguin until we have, uh, yeah, got our animals card upgraded. Oh, additionally, you may discard a sponsor card. Ah, so if I'd have taken two sponsor cards, then in addition to that, I could have discarded one to take another one. Right, okay. Yeah, start building towards the restaurant. Hmm. So, yes. I mean, yeah, it, we could play the expert on Asia now and we get a free pavilion. Straight away, we get a free pavilion and we could use that pavilion to put it on the board and literally start getting some kind of bonus and building towards something. Um, that is place any action card on one. What would we put on one? Because I probably want association. I probably want build as well. So, yeah, it all depends where we want to come in from. Ah, it's, it's it's a great game. I do I do like the game. It's just there's a lot of things to take into account, and when you're playing live as well. To play the adder, we're going to need a partner zoo of Europe. So we're going to end up having two Europe icons, even though we don't need Europe icons. Ugh. Shall we just go with that? And then next time, I'll take the partner zoo for Africa, and that will allow me to... My second partner zoo is flip a card. I'll flip the animals card. Then we can play the penguin. Okay, so I'm going to do the association action. I'm going to put a marker on it to say that I'm using it. I don't like the whole sliding down thing. It just seems a mess. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to do the association action with a value of three. We're going to go here. And we're going to take this partner zoo. And we're going to put it on there. And that's it. I can't do any donations. So we are done. That goes to the end. That goes to there. First turn is done. Huzzah! If it's red, it has to use the aquarium. If it's brown, it can use either. Oh, okay. Right, okay. Well, that's that's brown. If you mean what's in the hex. Yeah. Okay, right. Next. So here's Arno. So as I say, we're, we're using the app. You don't need to use the app. You can use cards and use other stuff. And I'm hoping... This is going to tell me exactly what it needs to do without me actually knowing how to play. I hope. <laughs> Saying that, I'm not sure what it's doing. Right. See the turtle in the offer for an example of the red one. Turtle in the offer. Oh, there. Right. Okay. So that that has to be placed inside a thing. Right. Got it. Um. So what are we doing? What What is that telling me? That is telling me that Arno is the red player. That's its cards in those positions. Um, I don't want to click on that, do I? It's got three conservation points. I thought it had negative three. Yeah, I thought it had negative three conservation points. So yeah, I've not actually... <clears throat> Let's pull up this. Let's pull up the rules. So he doesn't use money. He doesn't spend money for actions. He never receives money. 
He only uses the right area of his zoo mat, okay, over there. Uh, that's where the partner zoos and universities will go and where his association workers are from. He also receives the bonuses once he uncovers them. The left area of the zoo is considered, and that's just where he puts his cards, okay? He receives the following bonuses from his zoo plan. Conservation points, card upgrades, reputation points, and association workers. But he doesn't receive any bonuses from animal or sponsor cards, buildings, enclosures, X markers, or during breaks. The animal cards that are stacked on Arno's zoo map provide reference values for certain card effects of the human players. When he places another animal card on that stack, its icons will trigger the card effects of the other players, okay? Can never be the target of an interactive effect, so always use the alternative solo play. And every time he receives cards, discard all sponsor cards and stack animal and conservation projects on his zoo map. Right, okay, got it. So, let's have a look what the chat's telling me. Andre is saying, Arno uses build action to receive three conservation points. Wow, okay, so that's simply... That seems strong i wish i could do that as a human player now those three conservation points i think are just removing those negative three so um yeah and if that's it then nice and easy now there is an upgrade button there which i'm not going to click on so i'm just going to click next my turn so that's what it's done thank you andre for helping out with this uh, and anybody who doesn't know how the Arno bot works, you're now seeing how it works. Right. So it's my go again. Well, we did the first thing. Um, yeah, shall we just play that sponsor and, and get it done and out of the way? Yeah, I think we will. So we're going to choose sponsors for five. And we're going to play the expert on Asia. So I'm going to put my sponsors there. Uh, so every time I play an Asia icon into my zoo, I can build one pavilion for free. And the bonus for placing it is that I gain one appeal for each Asia icon, including the one that I've just played. So I immediately gain one appeal and I get to build, build a pavilion for free. So where's the, and a pavilion gets me an appeal. There you go. Winning. Totally winning. So where are we going to put it? Oh, I now there's five money down here. Money's really tight at the start of the game, but that is going to get me in all kinds of mess. Um, yeah, also reputation. Yeah, okay. We're quite a way off for reputation. Where are we going to build? I don't know. I don't know. This. I've used this map before, but I don't know the maps to like an, an expert level. If we are going to be building um one of the aquariums yeah uh none of these are card upgrades you, the, there are no bonuses that give you card upgrades if that's what you're asking i don't know yeah we want to start building towards that so i'm actually going to go I'm just looking at that as well. Okay, we need to upgrade our build card. I think I'm going to take the African Spurned Tortoise. Spurned. Spurred. Spurned Toy Toys. Um, yeah, so we're going to go there. There you go. Done. So I played the card. I've got that. I have an expert on Asia, and we might not do anything about Asia at all for the rest of the game. But <laughs> that might go done. That goes there. That goes there. Okay, are we ready? What two enclosures do you need first and where can you build them? Yes. Well, yeah, it, it really depends. But that's that's fine. Although the penguin, if we are going to put the penguin in its enclosure that it wants, it needs to be a size three enclosure that is next to a mountain and next to water. But my plan is to build it sort of here. Which we should be able to. Do. Right. So we've taken our turn. Next. Okay, so what we're saying is that Arno is doing the cards action and it gains a conservation point. It breaks one. So we'll do this in order. So gain a conservation point. Break one. Gain two appeal. And 
snap card four from the display. So one, two, three, four. So it snaps that and it's a conservation card. So it puts it there. If it was a sponsor card, I think it would just discard it straight away. And then this presumably shuffles down. So I think that's it. Again, because I'm using the, the website, I don't know the cleverness of the AI that's going on in the background. Um, I assume there is some kind of thing going on that's determining what it does, but I don't know. There's two aquariums. There's a, uh, an, an ickle one and a big one. And I can't remember how you build. I think you can only build them once you have um, upgraded your build card. I think. Where's the Marine Worlds expansion? Oh, the wave icon. Yes, the wave icon. I forgot about that. Thank you. Um, wait, whenever you replenish the display and add a card with this icon, discard the card in folder one and replenish again. So that's gone. This comes down and then there's another wave. So that goes and we go down. And then we have not a wave and not a wave. OK, we've done that. Uh, building the aquarium. Not on here. In here. Uh, da, 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 da. You can build a large one and a small one. You can build both aquariums with side one of the build action. Okay, you don't have to upgrade it. So you can just build the aquariums already. Most sea animals have to be accommodated in the two new special enclosures. They cannot be accommodated in any other enclosure. And I think that's the red. That's what the red means. Okay. Oh, and it says on the card what you can build. Oh, it says aquariums. Yes. Excellent. Right. Okay. We're good. I think that's, uh, I think that's Arno bot done. Not forgotten anything. Nope. Next. Right. My go. Right, so, what's our plan? Do we have a plan? Can't play that, can't play that, can't play that. I think we're looking at building. Building is what we're going to be wanting to do. And so we could just build an aquarium. Now, the aquarium needs to, I can place it any size, but if I place the little one, then only the penguins are going to be able to fit in it and nothing else because the penguins are going to take up two slots in one of these aquariums whereas if we build the big one and this only needs to be next to water so the penguins say a size three enclosure with mountains and water or a size two aquarium but does that aquarium need to also be next to mountains and water i, d I don't know Both aquariums have a water icon means that you must build them next to at least one water. Yes. Uh, you can build both large and small. I think it needs to be. And yeah, the setup wave is not activated. Um, because I've done a I've done a playthrough. I did a two-player playthrough with Luke Hector, and the amount of comments that I had from people in the video saying, Oh, you forgot to resolve the wave icon in setup. You don't resolve the wave wave icon in setup. It it, it says that. But I had so many people commenting on that. So rules question for anybody who can who can help me. Do the penguins I'm just gonna set the autofocus on this because it's driving me crazy. There you go. Uh, do the penguins if I put the penguins in an aquarium, does that aquarium need to be next to water? Well, it has to be next to water because it's an aquarium. Does it need to be next to mountains? Is the question. Because on the original rules, I thought it did. Yeah, Paul's confirmed. So this, if I build this aquarium, it's going to have to be adjacent to uh, both water and mountains, which it, it can be. I, I can put it there. And that's actually covered three spaces of that. Well, that's just perfect. Right. 
we're totally doing that. Totally, totally doing that. So we are building, and I'm spending 10 money to build a massive aquarium right there, which is next to mountains and next to water and next to something that I've already built. And it's covered up three spaces around the cafe. So I think that's a pretty good move. I think. Okay, what's Mr. Arno doing? Right, Arno is placing an association worker. Okay. Uh, he's placing it here. And he's going to take partner university number four. Right. Now, there are re-roll options that's come up, but I don't think it needs to re-roll because that partner university is available. It hasn't been... So it's taking this one. So that gets removed. Um, until the next break. And it's taking that one. So it's taken a partner university for birds. Al alternative if not possible, is that. So it, it was possible. I don't know what the re-roll options are. I don't know why I would click on those. But I'm not going to. So let, let me know, Andre, what the re-roll options are while I take my turn. Right. So the plan's going okay. We still can't play the penguins because we need to... Do the thing. Um, we also can't play the common European adder because there's no home for it yet. If we'd have built a home for it, we would have had a home. And I could. I could do a build action of one and just build a little home for it right there. And then I could play it because I do have a partner university. So we could play this. We could play this if we built something with one. Okay, re-roll if that university is taken. Okay. Oh, and the alternative is if it's got no workers left. Great, thank you. Um, yeah, I think that, that might be my plan, is to just build for one. Because I can't play my association worker. I can't play animals. I don't really want to do the cards thing yet. So we could just do this. We could just build for one. And I'm going to build there, which allows me to take the Australian dingo, which I don't think I need. So maybe I place it somewhere else. Uh, doesn't need to be next to anything else. So... Don't really want that bonus. Don't want that bonus. So I think I might just put it here. Although that is a good place for a kiosk. I do like me kiosks. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to build. Build for one. So we're going to build a size one enclosure. Um, which is... Let's get these out of the way. Size one enclosure. How many other people build when they've only got one space? Uh, when they've only got a build on one? I've done it a few times. Does Arno get the rep from the university? Um, I don't think there's any rep from that university. It's just a research symbol and a bird. So there's no there's no rep for taking that, that particular university. Although Andre says, yes, reputation for Arno. What have I missed? Why is it getting reputation? Because that gets reputation and that gets reputation, but that one doesn't. What have I missed? What have I missed? Yeah, wrong icon. Yeah, okay. No, I've not missed anything. Because <laughs> the chance of me making a mistake is at 100%. But this time, I got it right. So that's going to go there. It's not ideal because it's next to water. It's a bit of a waste. But yeah, sure. That's what we're going to do. Right, next. Uh, this is really simple. Arno is gaining three appeal. One, two, three. Okay, we can do that. Click, my go. Nowhere near a break. We can now play the common European adder. We can play it. So let, let's let's do it. Let's let's animals 
I mean, if we wait there, animals is going to be two, but we don't need it to be two. So I'm just going to play animals. Um, it would normally be 10, but because I have the partner, you, uh, the partner, what is it? It's partner zoo. Partner zoo in Europe um, is going to cost me seven. Uh, yeah, seven. So I've got three change. Three change. We've got our first animal. The expert on Asia is a bit concerned. He was brought in at the very start and he, we gave him the job and he, he was very, very happy. And then the first thing we have is we have an aquarium. He's not interested in aquariums. And then we bring in a adder from Europe. And he's like, why did you hire me? Yes, I've turned Ark Nova into a role-playing game. Ark Nova the RPG. You heard it here first. Right, so we're done. Now, that comes in. I'm allowed to play it. It takes up a size one enclosure. Flip. And it gives me two appeal. It's not very appealing. But because of determination, I get another go. So I'm going to take another turn. And what am I going to do with this turn? It's probably going to be cards. Because that's no good. That's no good. I could build, but that's no good. We want to, we're going to cards. We're going to cards it up. Now I could snap. And snapping is is any snapping is any one card? I always get this wrong. I think snapping is any one card, isn't it? There's no index in this rule book. Cards. Snapping. One card from the display into your hand. Yeah. Okay. So I could literally just take any one of those cards. Hmm. Now. It's big. It's expensive. Ah. Now. We have the loggerhead sea turtle. The reason why I'm looking at that is it takes up three slots in an aquarium. Our penguins are going to take up two slots in this aquarium. That could take up the other three. And it's a nice picture. Or do we just go for the file fish? Hmm. I mean, we've already got the penguins, so we don't need the ornithologist. Although the ornithologist might help this early. This is the thing. I could draw three and discard one. Which is effectively choosing two out of three because I'm going to keep both of these cards. Or I could just take that ornithologist. I'm going to, I'm going to snap the ornithologist. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Watch me. I've done it. Right. That's that done. That was my double go. We get a new one. It doesn't have a wave on it, but it is a conservation project for aquatic. Now, we have one water icon. We're about to have another one. So that might be a good one to take. Right. Next, five appeal. One, two, three, four, five. Right. We are an hour in. I have only just got started. I will tell you now, I will probably never play the original solo mode of Ark Nova again. Um, this is as good as I thought it was. And with the app to basically tell me exactly what to do, this is the this is the preferred way to play it. Absolutely. So, yeah, there you go. That's my initial thoughts on it so far. Click. My go. Um, I forgot to do the break. I did forget to do the break. Somebody in the chat's probably told me about the break. No, nobody in the chat told me I forgot to do the break. I forgot to do the break. Right. Well, we've got sponsors. So let's do it. Sponsors for four. We've got an ornithologist to go with the expert on Asia, but at least the ornithologist is actually going to do something because there are penguins on the way. Um, but that's it. Sponsors is done. 
I can't use the extra ability of it because I don't have another sponsor card in hand. Right, that's it. What's Arno doing? Arno is placing an association worker and it can't, which means we do the alternative. So it's going to gain a conservation point. Uh, the break is going to go up by two. And, and I don't know what that means. <laughs> I mean, that is Partner Zoo Stroke University. I'm not sure what that means. Um, but it's now arrived at that space there. And I think it said here... Um, it doesn't get those bonuses. It receives the following bonuses from his zoo plan and the general boards. Conservation points, card upgrades. Ah, it's got a card upgrade. Oh, reputation and associated workers. So how do I know which one it takes? So, yeah, two questions here. So Andre is saying, um, Arno takes the partner zoo and a new worker at two. Sorry. Money for the bird icon. Oh, yeah, money for the bird icon because it self-references. Thank you. I forgot about that. Let's do that. Right. Takes the partner zoo and a new worker at two. Hmm. Right, I can understand the new worker. That's there. So it gets that one. I don't know about the partner zoo because the icon is upgrade a card. Yeah, so when it gets to two conservation points, why is it getting a partner zoo? Oh, because it says there. No, that that's... So here, it, it would place an association worker on there, and it would gain the partner zoo of Africa, if, if possible. But it's not possible because it didn't have a worker. So instead... It gains a conservation point. It The break goes up by two. And then there's this. I mean, I could click on that and see what happens. Ah, right. OK. So what is Arno missing the most? Is it missing a partner zoo or a partner university? Right. OK. Is that right then? So I guess it's missing a partner zoo the most. So it says it's going to gain partner zoo number one. Right. OK. Am I doing this right? OK. Compensation for the missing worker. But it got the worker. Right. So it, because it didn't have the worker, it gains that. It gains the conservation point to break. It gains the partner zoo from this, but then because it's got two conservation points. So my, my next question is, how, how did I know which one of those two it did? Is that this bonus tile here? Let's just click on that. Arno never picks the pre-printed bonus. Oh, which, which means that. OK, but what happens when it gets here? Please note, once Arno reaches two conservation points, he always chooses to take an additional association worker, not a card upgrade. There you go. It's in there. Brilliant. Arno chooses the bonus tile if he reaches more than 50 in reputation, if still available, which is that thing hidden behind the big dev cards. Uh, right. OK, so it says there once he gets to two. Right. OK, this is my first playthrough of it, and I'm learning as I go. But it says there, that's why. I just, I just needed to know why it was picking that one rather than the other one, because it can upgrade cards. Um, and th and that's why. Right. Next. We're done. My go. How's the break looking? The break is three away. One, two, three. No, it's four away. Four away. So I can't trigger the break. Um, I can't do the association because I don't have any spare workers. Um, I could build. I have eight money. So we could build something big. Uh, we can't animals. We could cards. It's probably going to be build. I mean, why not? Let's let's build something more hassive. 
Um, although the if I build over there, the only card that's within reputation range is the Australian Dingo. Not really bothered about the Australian Dingo, to be honest. And it does seem a little bit of a waste using a build of four to only build one. But... But is that what we're going to do? I think it might be. What's a size four enclosure? Yeah, okay. This is crazy. It's crazy, but it's true. So yeah, I'm going to build and we're just going to spend two money. <laughs> and we're going to build a kiosk. I'm going to build a kiosk right next to the restaurant. There you go. Slightly inefficient move, I think, but yeah, we'll see. Right, Arno is gaining three appeal. My go. Well, I'm 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 pretty stuck. Um, yeah, unless we want to keep doing builds of one until the break triggers, but I think I'm the one that needs to trigger the break. So we'll do the cards action. Ah, this is I could snap. Yeah, the the benefit of this is I can snap it, which is this. Oh, do we take it? Do we go through a water thing? I mean, I've got two. There might be some more. I think we're going to go for it. Yeah, I'm going to snap, and we're just going to snap that one, and break two. Okay, right, starting to flow a bit better now. Thank you for the help, Andre, and for everybody else in the chat. For repeal. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Zooming off. Right, my go. Three cards in hand, so I'm not going to have to lose any when we do have the break. And I think the break is what we're going to cause. So we're going to play sponsors. We're going to break three and gain three. Oops. One, two, three. Um, oh, oh, oh. right okay so i get an x token for causing the break this will be my first break with these rules so uh there is a there is a break thing here during breaks arno draws three cards from the deck he keeps the first conservation project card and plays the first animal into his zoo the played animal card might trigger a bonus effect for the human player the other cards are discarded right brendan's here sorry brendan for disappointing you <laughs> We do need to refill that, yes. Okay, we've refilled, it's not a thing. So, let's go through the break. Discard down, don't need to discard down. Remove tokens, don't have any. Uh, association workers come back. Those go on there, we get that is refilled. We get that, and that is refilled. Um, we lose those two cards. Sorry, Mr. Dingo. You is gone. Right. Any wavy stuff? No wavy stuff. The Vietnamese pot-bellied pig. And the orange poundfish. We found Nemo. And Nemo does have a wave. There we go. Right. Uh, so we've done that. And then income. So I get nine money. Right, plus my pavilion gives me one money. Um, my park restaurant gives me one, two, three, four, five money because I've completely surrounded it already. Um, income from sponsors? Nope. And any of these bonuses? No. Right, so that's my income done. I've forgotten to move my sponsors down, haven't I? Yeah, I forgot to move my sponsors down. Um, right, so it says Arno draws three cards from the deck, keeps the first conservation project, and plays the first animal. So he's got a leopard. Next animal is discarded, uh, sponsor is discarded. Uh, does that animal trigger anything that I've got? Nope. 
So close. I think that's it. Is that it? Is that all that happens in a break? We go back to there. Yeah, I think that's it. And now it is our nose go. So what's he going to do? Right, he's going to place an association worker. He's going to put it on here and he's going to gain this. Now this is going to cause an upgrade. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this button and see what happens. Upgrade an action card for Mano. Yes. Please no. Ah, right. It's just a reminder that if you did this from there, you don't do that. Right. We're going to upgrade. Okay. So it's decided to upgrade its build action. Clever. Clever little Arno. Um, <clears throat> yeah, done. So it did that. It did that. It did that. Next. My go. Right. <sighs> yes. The, um, <clears throat> the meeples for the different player colours, which replaced the cubes, came in the expansion. These are not an uh, add-on that I've bought. Now, we have association here. We have an association worker. We have a conservation project in hand. So we could totally play this, except we don't have two water icons yet. We need to play the penguins first. Can't play the penguins because we haven't upgraded the card. We can only upgrade the card if we do that, which means I need another worker. Ah. <laughs> Yes, you need that extra worker. Oh, right. Well, we're going to have to. I mean, my association is here, but I'm going to have to use it. I'm going to have to take the. Um, the Africa one. Yeah, so we're, we're going to choose the association action. We're going to. Gone and done it, haven't you? How did it know that I wanted the Africa one? I mean, that's that's like some kind of high level AI mind reading. I didn't realize Arno Bot was that clever to be able to mind read the other player to work out what it is that they wanted to do and then do it beforehand. <sighs> So, how can we do this? How can we do this? So, the partner universities, I need to remind myself what the partner universities actually do. Do they just give you an icon or... Because there's a magnifying glass on them. I can't remember what they do. Partner universities, here we go. Uh, the, the new university allows you to find one card of its animal category. You reveal cards from the top of the deck until you reveal the first card with a primate icon. Uh, add that card to your hand and took the other revealed cards under the deck. So, question. Should Arno, when he took that, should he have gone through the deck and looked for a bird? I don't know. I don't know whether he should have done. Nobody said anything in the chat, so we didn't do it. Um... Yeah. Oh, I don't know what to do now. I had that all planned. I'm going to have to have a new plan. And we might as well take a university. Because at some point, we are going to have to take one of these universities. I just don't know which one. I don't know which one. But yeah, let, let me know, should it have activated that icon and gone through the deck and gained a bird? Okay, you won't look for birds, thank you. Can't play that, can't play that, can't play that. Right. Cards in hand are currently of no use. So, I don't know which one of these we want. I don't really need any of them at the moment. I mean, the one that allows me to have extra cards in hand is good. Um, we don't really need to go looking for a specific type of animal yet. So we don't really need the research icon. So I'm going to take the one that gives me extra hand size because it just gives me that extra flexibility. And we've gained a reputation, which is always good. Uh, that's it. Association action is done. 
Next. Gain three appeal. One, two, three. My go. So we now have the flexibility of being able to store more cards in hand should there be a break. And since we can't do anything with these, And we can't do anything with these, but there's other fishies. There's a little fish here, and the clownfish is here, and these these might be good to put in the aquarium. Yeah. Okay. So we could do that. We could snap some cards. I can snap that one now. Um, because it's got these coral icons on. And don't they... When you play one, don't they? They're Reef Dwellers, that's it. When you play a Reef Dweller, you trigger the Reef Dweller effects of all Reef Dwellers in your zoo. And they've both got Reef Dwellers on. Right, let's do that. Let's do that. We are going to play the cards and we're just going to snap Nemo, the orange clownfish. Done. That slides down. That comes out. It doesn't have a wave on it. So that's it. We're done. Cards goes down here. Yes, coral symbols. I can't snap. Why can't I snap? My 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 improved cards card says that I can snap at three. It's also a break two. Yeah, I think I think I can. Because I've got an improved cards card. They should have really called that something else. It's just weird calling it cards. Even though it does take cards, it just feels a bit weird. Yes, improved card. Right, okay, next. Four appeal. One, two, three, four. I'm not getting very far, am I? <laughs> so we have the orange clownfish. We can play the orange clownfish. But. But. Animals is in here. I want to be able to play two. If I can snap the American white spotted filefish as well. And if I have 22. Right. Then I can play that and that at the same time, which is efficient. But in order to do that, I need to snap that. And to snap that, I need that to be there. So we can do it. I am going to sponsors. I am going to break three and gain three money. OK. And then that goes there and that goes there. I've never snapped so much in my life. Oh, I could just take them within reputation range. <sighs> yeah, hang on. Hang on. Undo that. Undo that. One, two, three. Just realised... I now have a card within reputation range that I want to snap. So let's build instead. Now I need to make sure that I save 22. So again, I'm only building one, but that's fine. That's that's absolutely fine. I'm going to do another build of one and we're going to build another kiosk and it's going to be here, which covers up that icon, allowing me to take one card from within reputation range, which is that one. One of the great things about this game is that it gives you those moments where you feel clever, where you've been able to work out just a little puzzle. And then you look at the chat and it turns out I've got a rule wrong and you feel stupid again. But no, I think I think that's good. We're going to put that on there. That allows me to snap that. This is all slide down. Get a new card coming out. Doesn't have a wave on it. Does have a couple of tigers getting a bit friendly. And the build action is done. Is that three times now that I've built for one? I think it is. But I need to. I need to do that. Right. Okay. So Arno. Gaining a conservation point. Breaking for one. 
and gaining two appeal and snapping card three from the display, which is the Vietnamese pot bellied pig, which is just going to go on here. The New Zealand fur seal. Right. Done. My go. So, animals for two. Well, animals for five, which allows me to play two animals. So, the order here is important. I am first of all going to play for a cost of 10 money. The orange clownfish. Which is going to take up one space um, in my aquarium. And it has to be an aquarium. And it plays the coral effect. Two of those. And it's worth three appeal. Yep. Uh, yes, Paul. It's, uh, it's a website where you can... Um, run the bot without needing the the cards and stuff is what it is and then the second one i'm going to play costs me 12 so don't get a discount so that comes into play the american white spotted file fish it triggers well it's worth five appeal on its own and it triggers that coral reef effect and that coral reef effect which allows me after my action to put any card down in the number one spot come back to that in a minute i have played my two animals i have spent my monies that also takes up one space in this aquarium so the animals card goes to one and then because of the that effect i can turn i can put one of these other cards in one let's put association in one because i don't have any other association workers so it's absolutely useless okay we're good Right, Arno, place in a, places an association worker. It wants to take a partner university. And it can because it's not been in there before. I assume that if it was going here, it wouldn't be able to because that would cost two. So it goes there, it takes that one, it's upgrading a card. So we are upgrading a card. Yes. Okay, it's upgraded another card. Uh, and that's it. My go. Okay, so we have some fishes. Uh, we're happy with that. We still need to take one of those and we need to take one of those. And we can't do that until there's another break. This is here. Sponsors is on five. How many water icons do we have in our zoo? We still only have one water icon in our zoo. Despite these fishes. So one, two, three, four, five is not quite enough. Do we want to snap? Are any of those any good? How are we doing with these? We're not. We've got Asia. We've got Europe. We've got Australia. We've got America. Actually, we've got four. So we're close to doing this. If we can just get the fifth one, we can just get Africa, which we will next time. We've got habitat diversity. At its max. Yeah. We've got to do that. That's that's all for the future. But now we're going to do cards. Cards for four. Break two. Now, do I snap one of those? Or do I just draw two cards? I don't think there is one of those that I want to snap. There's nothing there that's leaping out at me. And saying, Paul, Paul, take me, take me. So we're just going to take two cards off the top. And I don't have to discard any. We've got the Northern Cassowary. And we've got the Dugong. It's got water icons on. That's huge. <laughs> it's absolutely huge. Yeah, okay. Right. Paul Kelly says he had a colleague that got into a tabloid because of his pet pop... You've got to tell us that story, Paul. Post it on the random channel on Slack. 
preferably with photos. Um, yeah, that's me done. I did the cards action. We did the break two. I took two cards. I don't have to discard any. We're all good. Arno is gaining a conservation point. Gaining a break one. That's good. Gaining two appeal. And snapping card two from the display. So it's having the barn owl, which is a bird, which means I gain three money. There you go. Slide everything down. It's not got a wave. Right. My go. Sponsors for five. Gain five money, five break. Trigger the break. Get an X token. Finish my turn. And we do the break. So I don't have to discard down because I've got five cards in hand. Remove counters. Nope. Association workers come back. Right, we're replenishing the Africa Partner Zoo, which is the one I need, and two of the other ones. Where are they? That one. And that one. I'm a bit disappointed tonight that the cats haven't joined me. I don't know where they are. Loki! He's had his food and then just gone to sleep. Uh, let's get rid of these two cards. Uh, the Crested Porcupine and a Wolf. Right, income. So I gain 15. Let's add it up. 15, 16... Uh, 17, 18, 18, it doesn't sound very much, really doesn't sound very much, but 18 it is. Oh, and then my park, which is one, two, three, four, five. That's better. 23. Okay. Um, yeah, income done. Right, back to there. And that was my go that triggered the break. Now, I know that it's not going to take the Africa thing. So. Okay, Arno just gains four appeal. Right, so Africa Partner Zoo it is. Except the association is here, which is fine. Perfect. That goes there. That goes there. I get that. Um, that gets me to flip an upgrade card. I am flipping the animals upgrade card. I, sorry, I'm upgrading the animals card. And that's it. We are back on track with our plan. Right, Arno is what the? Oof. Right, so he's gaining a reputation. Five break. And. Place one Arno player token on his final scoring card. Oh, right. I've no idea what that's about, but that's what he's done. Right, my go. So, let's just check. We have an aquarium with space in it for the African penguin. We have upgraded the animals card, so we could now use the animals card to put the African penguin into the aquarium. We could. And that's probably what we're going to be doing very soon. However, the animals card, if I do it when it's here, also gets me a reputation. So I'm tempted to just hang fire. I need to make sure I've got 15 money back for the penguin because I have the partner zoo from Africa, so it's cheaper. That gives me 17 money to do a build. Now, this, the dugong, is a massive underwater sea creature that requires a size five enclosure that is next to two water. I can't build that at the moment. Because of this layout, the only space 
on my entire board that I can build this. Nope, there's two. I can build it there. Or I could build it down here. There is going to require the, up, the build card to be upgraded. There isn't. But I can't build it there right now because of that. Hi, Chris. Thank you for popping in. And thank you, Lily and Maddie, as well. Thank you for popping in. Um, yeah. So, we've got the build on five. We've got the money to build it, but unfortunately... Ah. So, do we do another build for one? <laughs> I do like my builds for one, don't I? Or we could do a build for three and play this, but I'd need 12 money back, which means I'm one short. But I play the bird first. That gives me the three money, which is enough to play the In fact, the penguin's a bird, so we can. So I'm going to build. We're going to spend six money, and we're going to build a size three enclosure. Now, surely we can get this in. We can, but I need to make sure I don't block off space where the size 5 enclosure is going to go. So... Right, it's... It, I think there's only two... Oh, no. Uh, no, it can't go there because I've not upgraded the build card. It can't go there. I've only got two places this can go. There or there. Sorry, or there. Hmm. Okay. I think he's going there. I also can't uh, can't build this unless I've got the Australia partner zoo. I still need to do three cards for Arno's break. Oh yes, thank you. I forgot about that. So he gets an animal. He doesn't get the other animal, and he doesn't get the other animal. Okay, thank you. Forgot about that. We've only had two breaks, haven't we? The two water can be joined to each other. Yes. Yeah, but I, st I still can't. There's, there's nowhere else that it can go. If I hadn't have built those there, it could have gone there. One water, two water. That would have been fine, but I'd already built those. Yes, I need to partner with Oceana. That's it. So. Oh, I'm just trying to be efficient with this whole. Building two things at once and. Or, or doing two animals at once. And I, I don't think I'm going to be able to. So we're looking at playing this. Basically for next time. So we're going to do it. We're going to build there. We've spent the six money. We've built it. After the action, I get to put a card in slot one. I don't know which card I'm going to put in slot one. Maybe sponsors, because I don't need any sponsors. Or maybe association, because I, I can't do an association. Or maybe cards, so that sponsors goes up and I can do one, two, three, four and cause another break. Let's do that. Let's put the cards in position one. Right. We're all done. I think we're all done. What did I do? I built. I built. I moved it to the end and I resolved that. Yeah, we're good. Arno is placing an association worker, gaining a partner university. He's gaining this one. He's already got that one. So is that where the re-roll comes in? I think that's where we do the re-roll. So he's taking that one. It hasn't taken that one. So it takes that one, it goes on there, it gains two conservation points, and it passes the number five, which means we now click this bonus tile, and it says it never picks the pre-printed bonus, which is the five money. So, yeah, we got that. It can only use these three bonus tiles. It does not receive any bonus from the other. So either pick a partner zoo, pick a university, which you can't do because it's already got all of the universities, or two reputation. So 
Well, interesting. So what would a human player do? Well, a human player would take the five money. Oh, sorry, two reputation, not conservation. Oh, I got it wrong. Uh, no, it would. Yeah, sorry. It's two. It's two reputation for the university, but it's two conservation because it's its third university. So it, it is getting two conservation from there. I just forgot to give it the two reputation as well for that. So, yeah, I think. I think it's going to take the university tile, but not do it. Arno takes the right bonus tile from the display. OK, so if there were two. You would click on that. Yeah, two rep and two conservation. So I think. I think it's going to take that one just so I don't get it. Because that is the only bonus that it would get. I think that's right. I think that's right. And it's done. Next. Right, my go. So, are we playing the penguin? Yes, we're playing the penguins. Right, finally. I gain a reputation. And I can play up to two animals, but I've only got one. It's going to be the African penguin. It costs 18, but we have the partner zoo, so it only costs 15. But then after I've paid for it, because it's a bird, I get three back. Okay, the right bonus tile. Randomly determined. Says Andre. Yeah, so my... I mean, obviously you designed it, so you know, but the reason why I'm querying it is it says, um, I'll, I'll finish my turn and then, and then we'll, we'll, we'll have a look. So I'm playing that. I gain a reputation. I gain six appeal. And I've gained the three money for the bird and it takes up two slots in my aquarium. Or... I could have it occupy this thing. Now that is interesting. That is very interesting. I now have a size three enclosure, which is next to a mountain and next to water. So I could leave space in my aquarium for some more fishes. I'm going to do it. I'm actually just going to put it in here. Okay. And then the special ability is I draw two final scoring cards. OK. And then discard two final scoring cards. OK. OK, you determine the tile and if you can use it, apply the effect. Otherwise, just discard it. OK, thank you. So let's put that back. So it, it chose this tile. It can't get the effect. So we just discard it. Got it. Anyway, right. So I'm drawing two more cards. So just as a reminder, the two that I currently have are these two. And the two new ones that I've drawn are these two. And I could, if I wanted to, keep these two new ones and actually discard the two original ones. So what's this? This is a new one. I've never seen this before. Choose one animal category that you did not support a base conservation project with and gain conservation points for those icons. OK, so. Now, that's interesting. So an animal category. So I could choose birds and because I've not supported the base conservation project of birds, I score based on how many birds I've got or fishes. Like squids and I've got three squids, is that right? And I'm probably going to get more squids. So I'm thinking this one. This is for rock icons. I've only got one. That. Mm, yeah. OK. Now conditions. So I've already got two cards with conditions in play. And I'm probably going to get some more. But no, I, I think I'm going to. I'm going to keep that one and I'm going to keep that one. And I'm going to try and go for this one. And I'm going to try and get as many squids as I can. Okay. Cracky. 
<sighs> so, what's going on? Done that, done that, done that. That goes to there. And that is the end of my turn. Okay, so, next. And we sorted out the bonusy things. Right, it's getting three, one, two, three. Here we are again. So it's cross the thing. So we're going to do bonus tile. We pick. It gets the rightmost one. It can't use it. I don't know what that one does. But it's not one of the three that's listed. So it can't use it. And it discards it. I'm just going to have a look at what that one does, because that's a new one to me. It looks like it's flipper conservation tile over and animal ability... Oh, retrieve one of your association workers. Yeah, gets you back a worker. But there's the other icon on as well. Oh, you you keep it and then you can use it at some point in future to get a, to get a worker back, I guess. Yeah. Keep it until you decide to use it. Flip the tile over after using it. Anyway, it's gone. Okay, cool. But no, it didn't do that because it can't. So close that. It just gains the three. Next. My go. How are we looking? I think we're looking good. I've got my penguins. I'm happy. Happy with my penguins. We want more fishes. That's what we want now. We've decided we're going to go... Big on aquariums, big on the fishes, and at some point we're going to play this dugong. And we're going to need water icons, which means we need that. We need another break. We need another break to get things back. We need an extra association worker. Yeah, okay, right, we're going to sponsor us for five. So, one, two, three, four, I get five money. I've caused a break. Mustn't forget to do its cards this time. Uh, and I can discard a sponsor card to take a sponsor card. I don't have a sponsor card, right? <laughs> I'm not using the special ability of this at all, um, just because of the way that it's it's played out. Right, discard down. No, remove tokens. No, restock. Get people back. Uh, what are we restocking? We're restocking that one and the Africa one. Although there's no point putting it on there because we both we both got it, so won't bother with that. Discard these two cards. One, two. Just going to reveal. Is it? Is it wave? It is a wave. So we're getting rid of another one. And is the next one a wave? No. Squid. And a water playground is good for water icons. Right, we've done that. Income. So what am I getting? I'm getting 17, 22, 23, 24, 25. I think I'm getting 25. What was it last time? 23? Yeah, done that, done that, done that, done that, done that. This expert on Asia, still complaining. Three cards. It ignores that one. It gets the first animal. And it ignores that one. Okay. We're done. Reset the break. It's always me causing the break. So it's gaining one reputation, which allows it to upgrade a card and break three. And it's placing another token on its final scoring card. So it's... It's upgrading a card. Upgrade. Done. Right. Next. My go. Okay. So. Fish. Yes. Now then. I need to upgrade this build card in order to build here in order to have a size 5 enclosure next to two water icons. But I also want that. And I can get that. And I also, ah, association is on 5. So we could now play this. I do have two water icons in my park. One from the penguin 
One from the aquarium. So I could play this and get two conservation points. It's good to get early conservation points, but I could quite easily get more. Because I've, I could I could so easily get more from this because I'm about to play the... Well, not about to, but at some point I'm going to play the Dugong, which is two. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Get a university to upgrade the build card, use the build card to build the size five enclosure there, then play the Dugong. I mean, it's, it's all a lot of planning. I've also got this bird breeding program. This is what we might want to do. This is, yeah, we've got to do this. Yeah, we absolutely need to do this. Right, so we are choosing association with a value of five. We're going here and we're playing this. Uh, so it's bird breeding program. And I have a bird from Africa and a matching partner zoo. So I get to place one of these onto there, which gets me two conservation points and two reputation. So more things are going to trigger here than have ever triggered before. We, first of all, go one, two. That is a very important decision. Do I take another association worker or do I upgrade a card? If I forego that upgrading a card, I will only ever upgrade three cards in the game. And three upgrading three cards is never enough because I need to upgrade the build and I really need to upgrade the association in order to start doing donations. And upgrading a sponsors is really nice, but I'm not using this. I'm, I'm not using this at all. So I kind of need that other association worker. So I, I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to take an association worker, right? That's from that. Then I also get two reputation, which allows me to upgrade a card. So I'm going to upgrade the build card. There we go. And also I get to remove one of these, which gives me a bonus. Now, there's an association worker on there. So I could have taken that upgrade and taken that association worker. What should I do? What should I do? Hmm. Oh, and that's snapping a card. And that would allow me to snap the Southern Blue Ringed Octopus. Check out that guy. We need that. We do. Right. I'm going to remove that one. So I'm going to remove that one and put it on there. And that gets me to snap that. I'm playing this game very differently than I normally would. Okay, that's what we're doing. That is what we've done. So I did association. I did the bird breeding program. I got two conservation, which got me an association worker. I got two reputation, which got me to upgrade a card. I upgraded the build card. And then I unlocked that and I snapped that. Okay. Right, not a wave icon. Association goes to the end. That was a pretty big turn. Next, Arno is gaining a reputation and snapping the card from position one, which is a sponsor card. So it just discards it, I guess, because it doesn't do anything with sponsors. Uh, wave. Not a wave, right. Okay, so now we got loads of money. Yeah, okay. And let's click next. Right, so I am going to build, but now that I've upgraded it, <laughs> I can split my build, but actually I don't, I don't want to. I just need to build the size five enclosure there, which gets me yet another X token. I, I, will, I will use some of these X tokens at some point. Um, that's it. 
I could have built something fancy, but I am just building the size 5 enclosure next to 2 water. Yeah, done. That goes down there, that goes down there. We are done. Yes, I could split my... Oh, I could use the X tokens, you're right. You're right, I could use the X tokens and split my build and do some other stuff. Thank you. Because... There may be other stuff that I want to build. Like another aquarium. Where's that other little aquarium? And they don't need to be touching, do they? The first time I played this, I got the rules wrong for this. And I can't remember what rules we got wrong for them. Maybe that I forgot that they had to be placed next to water. Do we want to use an X token to split the build? Yeah, okay, so we'll use an X token to make the build action worth six, and we'll spend those two to build a pavilion here, which gets me one appeal. Aquarium is always placed next to water. Yes. Yeah, I just can't remember what rule we got wrong the first time I played. Um, I think that'll do. Yeah, okay, we're good with that. So that's the build action done. It's gone there. And I built that and I got a thing and we're good. Right, next. So Arno is gaining a reputation up to seven to break. And it's putting another one on its card. I'm assuming it's going to score points based on the number of tokens on that card at the end of the game. Next. Do we have 25? We do. We could play the Dugong. Yeah. Oh, yes, it's still empty. It, 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 it's not going to be empty for long, because I think I'm about to play this. Now, do I have 37? 10, 20, 30. I've got 32. Can I get a discount? If I play that, I get three. That's 35. I need a discount of two. Ah. Okay, so I can't have another partner university until I've upgraded the association card. I'd forgot about that. I'd forgotten about that because otherwise I would love to take <clears throat> a partner zoo for Australia, which would give me a massive discount on these. I'm just being greedy now. I'm, I'm trying to be, well, not greedy. I'm trying to be efficient. I'm trying to play both of these with one action and I am slightly short on money. So, I mean, I could... I could just sponsor to get a little bit of money. But that's wait is, is it wasting a turn? I could cause another break. Do I want to cause a break when I've got a thing left? I could use two X's to make an association of four and get another partner university, put it on there, upgrade a card. So many choices. I think that's what we're going to do. I am going to choose the association action. I'm going to spend two X's to make it an association of four. To place my association worker here. Now, we could take this new, newfangled partner zoo that allows me to look for a squid. Yeah, let's do it. So that's going to go on there. I'm going to upgrade a card. That's the card I'm upgrading. Um, and I'm going to activate that effect, which is look through here until I get a squid. I think. Nope, it's a rabbit. It's a New Zealand sea lion. It's a technology institute. It's a Panamanian white-faced capuchin. 
sponsorship of vultures, geological, uh, a Galapagos giant tortoise, uh, cinerous vulture, northern plains grey langur, an American bison, Blue Mountains National Park, baboon rock, we may be here a while, jungle, stoat, spotted hyena compound, a rhesus monkey park, the polar bear exhibit, the free range new world monkeys, the Sumatran tiger, a hydrologist, an expert in small animals, a lesser flamingo, sponsorship of elephants, northern Muriqui, a Siberian tiger, a Barbary macaque, is that how you pronounce it? A koala, a dusky leaf monkey, <laughs> a common wombat, a red kangaroo, a mountain tapir, and a carpy a stable. Hey, the pallet sturgeon the fish. We found one. It goes into my hand. Been looking you for you for ages. Found you. That's really good. Okay. Right. So we did that. We did that. We did that. Now, I think even though I've now upgraded that card, I don't think I can make the donation. If anybody in the chat... Uh, no, knows the answer. Can you upgrade the card and then use the upgraded card in the middle of the action? I'm, I'm, I'm going to assume you can't. But if you could, I would totally be making a donation for two. So let me know what you think if I'm allowed to do that or not. I don't think I am. Yeah, because you already did, did the action. Sure. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think you could. Right, so Arno is gaining a reputation which gets it another association worker. And it's snapping card number six, the native seabirds, which is a sponsor card, so it just gets discarded. New card comes out, doesn't have a wave on it. And that's it. My go. Okay, so... we now can play two of these i think just yeah let's do it oh but i need to pay the x token in order to get the thing which means i don't have the x token why i then can't do it oh <laughs> I need 34. I've got 32. The thing is, when I play this, I can discard one of these markers for five money. Great. But I need to use that marker on the animals in order to get the reputation. Or I just don't. I just don't get the reputation. That's fine. That's fine. Animals for four, which allows me to play two animals. Right. The first animal I'm playing is Mr. Pellet Sturgeonfish, who I call Simon. Simon comes in and costs me nine. Don't get any discounts, uh, but he comes into play. I trigger these three reef effects. So I gain two appeal. I can discard that X token for five money or vice versa. Uh, and I also can put a card in position one. And this is after the action, but I'm probably going to put that card in position one. The second card I'm then going to play. Oh, and that puts a cube in the aquarium. Yeah. So I've got three fishes in the aquarium. I now have 25. So I can play the dugong. Don't get any discount. I need to have my animals upgraded. It cost me 25. It's got to go in a size 5 enclosure that's next to two water. Which is there. I gain one conservation point. I gain nine appeal. And it's got digging four. So choose up to four times. Discard a card from the display and replenish or discard a card from your hand to draw one from the deck. Well, I want to keep that. I want to keep that. And I'm now not bothered about that at all. So I think I'm going to discard that to draw one. So this is the first bit of digging. Horse Whisperer.
No. No. Oh, second digging. That's quite nice. It's all right. It's not a squid, but it's a turtle. Should we have that? Yeah, sure. Two other lots of digging. Let's get rid of the wolf. Oh, an, an actual aquarium aquarium. And let's get rid of... Do we want to release a bird into the wild? We could release the penguins. What do you lose if you release it? You lose the stuff that it, it gave you. Hmm. I mean, I'd get four conservation points. That's pretty good, actually. Get rid of an animal card to block Arno from getting it. Um... Okay, yeah, because he snaps from the display, doesn't he? Yeah, okay, we'll get rid of the Llama Llama. Uh, wave? Okay, so that's gone. And Bennett's Wallaby. Okay, wow, lots of things have happened there. But I think that is my go done. I got all of my bonuses. I got all of my stuff. Animals then goes to one. And then I resolve that effect. I think you resolve that effect after you've done the action. It's usually after you've done your action. Icon reference. Yeah. After finishing, you may play any action card on slot one. Yeah. So it's after you've done. Right. Okay. Great. Uh, so the cards is going to go down to the end. Oof. Right. Oof. It's all stood. Right. Next. Arno is placing an association worker. It's going to get the partner zoo for the Americas which goes on there, which gets it another association worker, which gets it two conservation points, which gets it to there. So at this point, I now have to choose. Oh, no, it can't have that one. It's already got that one. So it has that one instead. I now have to choose which final scoring card I want. We're going to we're going to keep specialised. Specialised Species Zoo. And I'm going to put it here. That is my final scoring card. Uh, and we're trying to collect as many squids as we can. At the moment we have one, two, three, four. So I'm getting two conservation points at the end of the game. Um, and we want to try and get two more. Well, I've got one more here. So, yeah, we're looking, we're looking good for that. Okay. Um, is that it? It did that. It did that. It did that, it got that. Yeah, next. My go. So, uh, I think we're breaking. I need money. I need my workers back. Sponsors for five. Cause another break. Get an X token. Uh, okay. Discard. Don't need to discard. Oh, well. End of turn. I can discard a sponsor... Uh, right, tokens come back, replenish, so we don't need to replenish that one, but we do need to replenish that one, workers come home, cards go, on, that was a fish, that was a fish, just missed it, wave, no, wave, no. That one first, that one second. Where was that? That was there, I think. Um, income. So, 21 plus 6. Sorry, plus 5. 26. Uh, 27, 28, 29, 30. So, 30 income. But also, I get to snap a card.
Um, well, we're going to snap that one, obviously. Or do we snap the aquarium? Oh, I mean, I can get both of them. Oh, look at that. Let's just have a look at the aquarium. I mean, it, it's in theme with what I'm trying to do. It's an it's a it's an aquarium special tile as opposed to aquarium actual tile. Where is it? Is it this one? It's got a shark on it. It's this one. So if I can put this somewhere that it's next to two water that will allow me to snap a card from within reputation range, I can then take the other one. There. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so I'm going to snap the aquarium. That goes into hand. Right. Um, and then Arno. So first card is an animal. Second card is a sponsor. Third card is an animal. Done. What is that fish in the display's prerequisite? Oh, this one. That's a good point. The black bar trigger fish. Uh, it's got a university on it. So I don't know what that is as a requirement. Oh, you've got to have any partner university. Well, I do. I mean, these are all partner universities, aren't they? Yeah, you just need one university. It's a bit of a non-requirement uh, because you pretty much get them all the time, don't you? Remember that with upgraded cards, you can play directly from the display at slightly extra cost. Yes, thank you. I've forgotten about that. But with animals, I can play from here. Not sponsors because I haven't upgraded it. I think the break is over. We've done its cards. We've done mine. I got the money. I've got the workers back. We did all of the other stuff. So that goes back there. Did I get the X token? I think I did get the X token. It's always me causing the break. Right. Arno just gets five appeal. There you go. It's overtaken me again. Next. So. Our animals card is here. Um, we've got lots of money. I am in a position where I could potentially play two things. My sponsors is down, down one. So there's no way I can actually play the aquarium yet. It requires three reputation, which, we, which we've got. So I'm not sure what my plan is. I mean, I could associate and do a donation. That's what we want to do. Where's my little dobber? So we're going to associate for four. But actually, I'm just going to go on the three. Yeah, I'm going to go on the three. And we're going to take... I've got these as well. But I don't think Arno is, is taking these. So I, I don't think there's any rush for these. Um, but I'm pretty sure I've got all five now. I've got Asia. Wait a minute. We played an Asia icon. <laughs> we played the pallet sturgeon fish, which is from Asia. I should have built a pavilion. Each time you play an Asia icon into your zoo, you may build a pavilion. Should have done that. Where's the pavilions? There's the pavilions, which gets me an appeal. So where would we be? Let's just, I say we put it here. Okay. Um, yeah, anyway, we've got America. Sorry, we've got Asia. We've got America. We've got Australia. We've got Europe. And we've got Africa. So I've got all five. So I can do that at some point. Should I do that now? Rather than taking, I mean, I'm, I, I say, I'm not in any rush because Arno doesn't take these. Could have put Pavilion on the draw bonus card and take the other fish. I could have done, but the reason I put it there is because I should have done that earlier and the situation would, would have been different at that point. But I didn't want to cheat too much. I'm just going to put it on there. Okay, if we're going for the other ones, 
do we want the Americas one? How many American icons have we got? We've got one. We only need one more to get that. I don't know what this is going to get me. It's going to get me another association worker. That's what it's going to get me. Okay, let's take it. Let's take that one. Let's put it here, which I can do because I've upgraded it. So it goes on there. It gives me another association worker. And I'm going to make a donation of two money for a conservation point. Bargain. So I did that. Oh, no, that's interesting because I can actually split it. So I could have used an X token to have six. Oh, yeah, to have five and then done a three and a two. No, that's fine. That's fine. We did a four and we only needed a three. Right. Arno is gaining a reputation up to nine. Four break. One, two, three, four. And put in another token on there. Yeah. Right, my go. I know we'll take projects. Oh, Arno will take projects. Will he? Okay, I don't know how. So we're in a bit of a rush now. If Arno is going to actually do these projects, I didn't realise that because nothing so far has, has done that. But thank you for letting me know. Right, which means I need to get that association back as fast as possible. Um, so we can play the Southern Blue Ringed Octopus. It's going to take up the last two spaces in there and has no other requirements. Um, so we could play that. Uh, can we also play the European Pond Turtle? No, we cannot. So... think we need to build yeah build and then i'll play the animals in a minute okay so we're going to build um and we're just going to build for five but i'm going to split it and i need to make sure i leave room for the aquarium so what are we going to build well let's build the other aquarium uh, the, the the this aquarium not not that aquarium um, and this is actually going to go here. So it's next to water. Which still leaves space for that to go there. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that's good. Um, and do I get anything for that? I do. I get to take a card from within reputation range, which is going to be the black bar triggerfish. And cool. Uh, that doesn't shuffle down until the end of the turn. Uh, I've got three more builds to do. Let's go for... Let's go for a... Pavilion here, which gets me one appeal. And a kiosk here. I can't build the same one more than once unless you've got the engineer, which is a special card. And a size one thing there, which gets me one reputation. Yeah, I think that'll do. So I spent 10. One, two, three, four, size five. Turn is over down there and we're going to shuffle down is it a wave it's not a wave right okie dokie so is that it i think that is it right what's arno going to do arno is going to place an association worker he's going to take an african thing he can't so you already got one take that one yeah he's going to take that one he takes that one, pops it on there, gains two conservation points, one, two. That's it. Next. Right. Animals for five. 
Have I got this right? Yeah, I think I have. So the first thing I'm going to do is spend 12 to play the Southern Blue Ringed Octopus, which takes up two slots in an aquarium. And because uh, we've heard reports that he's a bit of a troublemaker, we're going to put him here, over here in this little aquarium just for himself. The benefit of playing that is that I gain four appeal and he's inventive, so he gains an X token. Uh, and then I trigger all of the coral reef abilities, which is, I gain three money. I can discard an X token for five money or vice versa. Uh, I gain two appeal and I can shuffle a card back to the number one position. Uh, Sana is saying, can Arno do this? His association card is not upgraded. That is a good question. We will ask Andre. Um, it, it's a very good point. He, um, is he allowed to take that? I'm not going to undo it now, but should he have been allowed to take those even though his association card was not upgraded. Um, if he shouldn't have been able to do that, then I would have had to do the alternative, but there's there's no way I'm going to undo that now, but it would be good to know that. Thank you very much, Sané, for, uh, for spotting that. And we will get an answer to that shortly. So that's the first one that I've played. Second one I'm going to play is the Black Bar Triggerfish. I get a discount on it because I've partnered with the zoo in Africa. So it only cost me 11. And I get to trigger all of the Coral Reef abilities again. Well, it's worth five. One, two, three, four, five. Um, and it's got Clever. So all sorts of things happen. I'm going to get three money. Uh, I'm going to get two more appeal. I'm going to put another card on one and another card on one. <laughs> and I can trade in an X token for five money. Sure. And I get to take a card from within reputation range. And I'm also getting one reputation because I played animals at five which gets me another association worker, which gets me one conservation point, which gets me five money or a university. And I'll... I don't know what we want. I don't know what we want now. I'll just take the five money because I don't think I need another university. Okay. Arno ignores those requirements. Excellent. Thank you very much, Andre. So we have been playing correctly. Wow. Right, is that is that everything? Oh, we need to put a we need we need to, a home for the black bar triggerfish. Let's just check that I've got this right. One, two, three, four, five. Mm, what we're we missing? One, two, three, four, five. Ah, the southern blue ringed octopus didn't take up two. It was only one. It's size two, but it only takes up one. So we're good. We've still got space for more fishes. And how are we doing for squid symbols? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. We're done. We've maxed it out. Awesome. Phenomenal. That was a big turn. That, that was a very big turn. I'm feeling happier now. We definitely fell behind at the start, but I think it's ramped up now, and I think we're doing quite well. So... Arno is just gaining four appeal. One, two, three, four. Nothing special at all. My go. We need association on five. And I've, I've spent my X tokens because I was greedy. Um, I can't even play sponsors for five. 
So we need we need to we need to play cards. We'll play cards. So I can draw three and discard one, or we can snap one. Is any of this of any use to me? Oh, I can also play two cards in position one. Thank you for my reef bonuses. I'm going to put that down, but that's it. That's the only one I'm going to put down because on my go, I'm going to sponsor us for five and I'm going to play the aquarium, which is here and it goes here and it's next to two water. It gets me five money and it gets me to draw a card from reputation range, which right now is here. I don't, I don't know whether any of this is of any use whatsoever. I mean, breeding program's got too many, um, too much text on it. Gain one conservation point for five supports of conservation projects. I don't know what that means. What's five supports? It, it, I guess it's cubes on five cards. Yeah, must be. I don't think I'm going to get that. Oh. When supporting a base conservation project, discard exactly one token to count as an icon. Oh. But it requires two of those. I don't have two of those. I I I, I don't know. Let's let's take this one because it's America. Not a wave. Okay, so we did sponsors, we played the aquarium. We got the bonuses, and it says, additionally, I can discard a sponsor card from hand. Don't need to. What does the aquarium do? Each time you play a water icon into your zoo, gain two appeal. And there are two water icons on that card. So I gain four appeal. One, two, three, four. And at the end of the game, because I've got six water icons, I get a conservation point. And I've definitely got six water icons, because I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Which means I'm going to be playing that very soon. Okay, that's my go done. Yeah, it's really ramping up now. So, two conservation points. Got you on the run. Takes card three. Card three. Ignores it. I think I'm getting that bit right. Nobody, Andre hasn't said that I'm getting that wrong. It just does feel odd when it snaps a card that is of no use to it whatsoever. Because if that was an animal, it would get it over here. I don't I don't know what it's going to get for these. <laughs> at all. If anything. Um, anyway, my go. Association for five. Right. Here we go. Which one do we want to do? Well, based on the fact that people in the chat have said, Arno is going to get these at some point. I'm going to get that while I can. And we're going to remove... Well, there's no point in removing that one. Um, let's remove the one that gives me five money. Although, do I have too much money? I could take the one. I could take the one that gives me a, a build of a special thing. But yeah, no, I'm just going to take the one that gives me twelve money. Immediate twelve money. Okay, and that is going to go on there, which gets me five conservation points, which is one, two, three, four, five. Now, what the heck is that? Whenever I'm playing an animal, I can flip that over to remove three of the needed criteria. Nah, we're fine with that. I'll just have another five money. Loads of money. And I can make a donation. I'll spend five money. I'll make a donation. Get another conservation point. Okay. All done. There's an optional module that uses the sponsor cards to add a little... Okay, right, that was that thing that I skipped at the start. I have no space for special enclosure anymore. Special enclosure? Not sure what you mean by... No space for a special enclosure. Oh, you mean that one? Yeah, no, I didn't think I could fit it in. So, but I don't need that anyway. So, we're all good. Donation done. Association action goes there. Arno's go. Three appeal. One, two, three. Got him on the ropes. Right. My go. Um. I mean, yeah. Things, things are looking good. 
I need to get that association up there as as quick as possible. We've also got build. We could just build to try and fill this, which is worth seven appeal. So yeah, let's let's do that. Let, let's build. I'll spend ten money. Um, I want to find a home for my European pond turtle and for my Ecuadorian squirrel monkey. So the European pond turtle needs a size one enclosure next to water. So we can put that down here. And the Ecuadorian squirrel monkey. I mean, is, is it a squirrel? Is it a monkey? Who knows? It's a squirrel monkey. Um, that can go there. And then I've still got two other builds. So we can have um, another pavilion there and another kiosk there. Done. Next. Right. Two conservation points. One break. And snapping card number six, which is an animal. I don't get anything for it. I mean, I would have liked that myself, but I'm already at max. Oh, it's a sea, tur sea turtle tank. More water icons. Okay. My go. Animals. I'm going to be playing two animals. And oh, look, we're going to be playing the two animals that I just mentioned. And I can play from within range, but. Yeah, no, I think I think we're good. Yeah, I'm fine with these. Right. So first of all, uh, I do have a partner zoo in the Americas. So this is only going to cost me nine. Nine. OK, and it's going to go in there. And it gets me five appeal. And after finishing the current action, place any action card on one. I'm going to put a red cube on here to remind me that I can do that. And then I'll forget. And then I'm playing, for a cost of six, the European Pond Turtle. Which is a size one enclosure that has to be next to water. Which gets me four appeal. One, two, three, four. Um... Any other Asia icons? No. So this expert was brought in purely for the for the octopus, not for the octopus, for the sturgeon fish. It's funny. Um. Yeah, did that. That was it. And again, the reputation, which goes to there. And now I'm now at my reputation max until I increase that, which you can't do. So animals is going to one. And then because of that, I can put another one on one. And I'm going to put that on one. There we go. I can now build another pavilion. Can I? Oh, because... No. I can only build pavilions when I play Asia icons. None of them have Asia icons. I was just mentioning that the sturgeon fish is the only Asia icon that I've played. Need an X token. Shouldn't have sold that one earlier. Right. One reputation. So it goes there. Four break. It's caused a break. Okay. So it's actually caused a break on its turn. There you go. So. Let's do its thing first. Animal. It's a bird. I get three money. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Sponsor, discard. Sponsor, discard. Right, that's it. that's it done. Me, do I need to discard down? No, I don't. Remove all tokens. Workers come home. Uh, replenish. Don't need to replenish that. Need to replenish that one. Okay, cards go. Is it a wave? No. Is it a wave? Yes. Is it a wave? Yes. No. Right. So two extra cards are going, basically. Look at that. It's huge. Income. What am I on? 28. 33. 
34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. 42 money. That should do me. 42 money. And I get to snap a card. I mean, the sea turtle tank. If, if we're going to be staying on theme, I don't think I can fit it in. Oh, no, no, can't fit it in. Um, I mean, that's it's OK. I'd need to take another university to get the point. Um, can't play that. I haven't got room for it. We could play that, but I don't need it. That's interesting that it needs to be next to mountains as well. Um, yeah, I mean, I could just take the sea cave. But we've got so many other things to to do. I could end up releasing this, the snake, the snake that we had right at the start. We could release it into the wild. That would be fun. Yeah, I'm going to take that card just for fun. I'm getting cocky now. Right. I think that's the break done. That is the break done. And that was it go. Uh, did I put a thing on its card? No, I don't think I did getting another thing on its card my go right we are now in the end game it do it might not look like it but yeah it's probably only a few turns left so the first thing i'm going to do is i need that on five i need x's And I don't need the money. I really don't need the money. Should I have taken the veterinarian instead? Yeah, I should have done. Slight change of plan. I'm going to take the veterinarian instead. Where was that? That was there. Okay, so on my go, we're doing sponsors. And we're going to play the veterinarian. So when it comes into play, I have two universities. So I get five money. Um, yeah, interesting. It now only costs four, but sure. I'm hoping I'm going to get one conservation point from that at the end of the game. Next, four appeal. One, two, three, four. My go. Uh, association for five. So which one? Uh, so how many America icons have we got? We have one, two, three. So we need four to get the, the big bonus. What about Africa? Did we do that in the end? We got one, two, three. So it's going to be this one. This is the best one for me. Yeah, so we're going to play Aquatic from hand. I have a million of them. Um, so we're going to remove this one. And put it on there, which gets me four conservation points. One, two, three, four. And gets me to build a size two enclosure. Which will be... Uh, yeah, there. Okay. And in addition, I can make a donation, which I will. So I spend seven money to pop another cube on there and get another conservation point. Right. That should have sealed it, I think. But we don't know what this end game scoring is here. So we'll see. We'll see. 
Right, Arno. Oh, two conservation points, one break. Snap card from number one, which is that, so it doesn't get it. I've actually been quite lucky on it, snapping cards. It's been snapping ones that are of no use to it. Right, my go. i got no cards in hand. Oh, that should have gone to the back. So, I mean, we could build. Just... Just to fill the space up doesn't really do anything. Um, yeah, I, I I need the association up on up on five again. So yeah, the building's not really going to get me anything. I could pay money to play a sponsorship card, but I don't have any sponsorship cards. So it's just yeah, I've I kind of burnt out. I fizzled. Can't associate for one, so we're just going to play cards. Now, I could draw two and discard one, or I could snap. Anything here? Of any? Well, that one, the one that I was going to take. But <clears throat> I need... So maybe we take the short-snouted seahorse. But it doesn't have any... Um, doesn't have the coral reef on it. So we, we will just break two, and we'll draw two and discard one, see what we get. It's the Andean Condor... She's massive. Uh, or the Scarlet and McCaw, McCaw, which I can play and yeah. Okay. Uh, that's it. That goes to there, that goes to there. I'm having a bit of a, a lull now. Well, meanwhile, he's going one, two, three. Oh, look at that. Right. I've, I've run out of steam. And suddenly, we got a problem. I need to get going. So, there's is there any point in me getting it? I can't have any extra rep. So, I could build. I could play animals. This animals would be quite good. Animals. Just going to play this. It's going to cost me 13. Um, It's a bird. So, I get three money back. It's not from Asia. I think this guy's going to hand in his notice. Um, I get four appeal. One, two, three, four. And I can play th three times a kiosk or pavilion. So I'm going to put a pavilion there for one appeal. Uh, a pavilion there for one appeal. And a pavilion. No, I need to be need to be there. There for one appeal. Getting me an X token. And I can play a sponsorship card for money, but I don't I don't have one. Right. So that's that done. I think that's that done. I've got that. I paid for it. I got the discount. Okay, level three of Arno triggers around now. We are on round 35. Good to know. Why only three upgrade cards? Because I chose to take the association worker at the start. Bold move, I know. But that's that. Yeah, I, I, I'm really keen to see the end game scoring. I think I've done all right, but we are playing on difficulty level two. Four appeal. One, two, three, four. We are so close to the end now. And I, I again, I fizzled. I've got one X. The association is on four, but that's fine because of my veterinarian. Mwah. I love him. So, association for three with the X token is four. And because of the veterinarian, I can support a conservation project with only four instead of five. Except it does take two of my workers, but which one do we want? Um... How are we for America now? We are one, two, three, four. We got four American icons. Perfect. Perfect. We'll go on there. Three conservation points. End of the game is triggered. Uh, three conservation points. I get three X tokens for what it's worth. And I can do a donation. 10 money. 
for a cube, one conservation point. Right. What happens when the end of the game is triggered? Is it all other players get a point? Uh, all of the players get a turn? I think it is. So one reputation, which gets him a conservation point. Four break. And another token on there. I can use the sea cave with cash. The sea cave? I don't think I can. I think I think that icon is that I can play um, a conservation project from my hand. The icon's not on here. Where is that icon? Yeah, I thought I thought that icon, wherever it is, meant I can play a conservation card from hand. Sorry, a sponsor card from hand by paying the cost. Let me just check that. I don't know where that icon is. Um, here, you may play a sponsor card from your hand by paying X money, where X is the level of the card. The usual rules apply. Um, and yeah, so I, I don't think I can. Yeah, I can't play. Yeah. Oh, you were talking about my association choices. I I don't know. Sorry, I've lost. I'm I, 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 I'm not sure how. Oh, you mean when I associate? Oh, I could have done the association from there. Right. Okay. Um. And I could have released. It, it wouldn't have been worthwhile to me because I could have released the snake into the wild. And it would have only been worth three conservation, whereas that was worth... Oh, that was worth three, but I would have lost the appeal of the adder. Okay, thank you. So that would have allowed me to play that. But actually, that was better. <sighs> so, I think we are done. And am, am I right in thinking all of the players get one more turn? And then that's the end. Andre says it should be six markers on the end game scoring card. That's the maximum. Yeah, I, I did accidentally do it twice. I, th I thought I did. I wasn't sure. But thank you for clarifying that. Okay, so we are we are done. Um, I don't know how. I, oh, down at the bottom, it says finish game. So, yeah. The game is over. 36 rounds. Let's just double check. Right, done that, done that, done that. Complete their turn. All of the players take one more turn. We are done. Right. So I'm going to click finish game. Are you sure? Yes. So get conservation points or appeal from final scoring cards. Where's my final scoring card? It's here. So choose an animal category, squids, which I did not support a base conservation project for and gain conservation for those icons. We got six squids. I gained four. So... One, two, three, four. Um, right, also, aquarium. Do I have six water icons? Yes. Do I have three universities? No. That's it. That's it from my end of game stuff. Right, Arno is getting four conservation points for six tokens so it's getting one two three four and zero tokens on the notepad uh, okay right what do i do now i now fill in this so i don't know how many conservation points i have i think i have 25 and my appeal is 70. So I'm going 21 points. Huzzah. Uh, Arno has got 27 conservation points. And according to that, he's got 53 appeal. So he scored 10. And there you go. I don't know what happened with the audio. I, di I didn't press anything. <laughs> Apparently the audio disappeared. Um, but that's it.
I think I think we're all done. Um, so I said about two hours ago <laughs> that this is a fantastic solo mode. This is actually, yeah, it's exceptionally good. And I'll, I'll be honest with you, when I I've always wanted to play the Arno bot. Lots of people have told me how good it was. Um, but regular viewers of mine will know that I I don't like complex solo modes. And for me, complexity means having to work out, look and flow charts, roll dice, decide this and make decisions. That's what this is, but the app does all of that for me. So this is a solo mode which is very much inside my comfort zone. We were a little bit rough to start with because there were certain things that I didn't know. Now that I know them, I know what it does there, I know what it does there. It's very well done. It's it's really polished. And yeah, every everything that everybody's told me about this solo mode is is I, I agree with it. It's fantastic. So congratulations, Andre, um on 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 designing that. And yeah, I mean you you've got a lot of credit for it because a lot of people love it. And you should be doing some professional solo design work, as far as I'm concerned. If I have any publishers that are looking for a solo designer, I will uh, I will I will put them your way, definitely, because it works really well. The only bit that I wasn't sure about was it snapping cards from here. But as you say, there is a variant where it can do that. Um, I wasn't sure if it was going to get anything for these either. So, um, yeah, I mean, it, I, I don't know. Did I, did I miss something with these animal cards? Does it get anything for these? And it's also got a conservation card. Does it get anything for that? as well i don't know whether it does i i don't know whether it, it just it just takes them and puts them there um william says once he learned the arno bot never wanted to go back to the solo yeah exactly exactly right uh, the bot getting animals is for triggering your own cards okay great but what about the bot getting conservation projects is that just to just to remove them from the game uh, and my next question is that I was told that it was going to get these and it didn't. Now that could be because we were playing on very easy. Um, but I'm, I'm curious to know when it goes for these conservation projects and, and how it does that. William says, I would get three money for that. Why would I get three money for that? I mean, it got this really early on, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure why. Um, now, this playthrough has taken longer than I thought. I said to Vicky, it'll probably be about an hour and a half, maybe two hours. But I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I've I've really, really enjoyed this. I mean, I, I do like the game. Um, the original solo mode was a bit lacking. Um, this is a proper solo mode. This this works really, really well. And the game is great. The game is the game is enjoyable to play anyway, and the solo game has made it just even better to play. So yeah, I've. I've said it before but all of the people that have said to me how good this was they they are correct well done thank you for for that but we're all done for tonight just before i disappear just wanted to mention that this is not a sponsored playthrough i'm doing these tuesday night solo playthroughs as part of my patron campaign so a big thank you to all of my patron supporters uh that give me the funding to be able to carry on doing these uh there's going to be more over the next few weeks i can't remember exactly what the next one is going to be but basically my patron supporters have been voting on which solo games they wanted to see on the channel. It was Feast for Odin with the Norwegians expansion, which I did on Saturday. Tonight was uh, Ark Nova with the Arno bot. I can't remember what's going to be next, but basically the votes have happened and I'm going to be doing them in the order of the, the, the votes that came in. Um, so yeah, that's everything. I will now get this put away and go back to my other work tomorrow. So thank you very much to everybody for watching. Thank you for keeping me company. Big thank you to Andre, who's the designer of the Honor Bot, who saw the video was going live and joined us tonight. Thank you very much uh, for joining me. And we'll see you all next time. Thanks very much, everybody. Take care. Bye-byes. <laughs>